Hello and welcome to another science experiment. Uh, today's science experiment is square bubbles. Can we make them? How do we make them? Uh, I'm going to give you a few tips of what to do and then I want you to try and find out for yourself. So you will need some pipe cleaners. Uh, you might want some straws or you can manage without them. Uh, you will need some water and you will need some uh, washing up liquid. And uh, one of Mr. Bostrom's top tips is if you put a little bit of cooking glycerine, just a few drops in the water, it does help the uh, bubbles to form and stay longer. So this is what you will need to do. You need to get your pipe cleaner and you need to make it into the shape that you want to try and make. So I want to try and make a square bubble. So here is one that I made earlier. And what I've done is I've poked it into the end of the straw, which will give me some dipping room. And I've made this square shape. You might want to make a different shape. You might want to make a triangular shape or a very wonky triangular shape. Uh, and if you're really adventurous, you might want to see if you can make a 3D cube shape. Could you make that into a 3D bubble? Now, I'm not going to show you how to do this experiment. You will need to dip your wand into the water and then you will need to see if you can make that bubble. And I do advise you to do this outside as it does get rather messy. However, I shall leave you with a little bit of Bubble Fantastic to get you in the mood. Happy science!